Days fucked it again, couldn't believe my eyes. Days fucked it again, days fucked it, days, days, days. Melbourne Football Club. I could rant and rave. I could rant and rave. I'm gonna fucking rant and rave. Melbourne Football Club. I've been a member for 16 consecutive years. And for 11 of those, we've been absolutely insipid. And all year, I was thinking, look, we're still young, we're inconsistent. I don't think we'll make finals. And then we tiptoed along, playing some alright footy, a little bit patchy, lost games we should have, won games we shouldn't have. And then we got closer and closer to finals and the media started saying, yes, I think the D's could play top four footy. How Melbourne could win the flag this year? And I started to go, this could be it, you know? It's been tortured for a long time. A lot of painstaking moments. The ticker, it's copped it, but this could be it. And then we didn't f***ing turn up against the pies. Oh, I was there Saturday. You bet your bottom dollar I was. But we lost because Mason Cox decided to pull a bit of football ability out of his ass and win the game. Tom McDonald, I love you. But do you like playing football? Oh, Tommy. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Coughed it up to Mason Cox. And Coxy went back and missed. But don't get in his face after you just coughed it up to him. What are you strutting around for? Mason Cox has just won them the game and you're getting into him. No, but it's the D's fault. It's the D's fault. You know, they do this every year to me. You know, they sort of arouse me with the way they play, with the good footy they show, with the young list coming through. And then we pump Adelaide over there and I'm getting a little bit more excited. And then we beat West Coast over there and I'm getting a little bit more excited. But they just tease me. They never finish me off. I've sat here with red and blue balls for the last three years. And the pies on the weekend. How embarrassing. I've never seen a team celebrate a mediocre year like that before. Oh shit. Put your cheese platters out. Very funny. Put your cheese platters out. That's so frustrating. Like that's just, it's not even funny. Like not all D's fans have a cheese platter. I've had it. But you know what? It's a good life lesson. You roll with the punches, you stick by your side. You stick by your side. Sometimes it's hard, but you stick by your side. We never seem to play four quarters. Next week instead I'll watch McLeod's daughters. Also guys, just an update. I will be making a video out of all your videos. So if you have any highlights of you in the backyard, in the front yard, at school, in your lounge room, at the footy oval, doing something a little bit exciting, taking a hanger or kicking a goal, DM me on Instagram the footage and um, in a couple of weeks I'll be making a video of your videos. I didn't quite make that clear last time so certainly send them through. Um, yeah and take your time because I won't be doing this for a couple of weeks. So go out with your mates, kick the footy and um, yeah send me some of your miraculous highlights. Thanks for watching this very silly video. I was taking the P155, all the teams that made it deserve it and um, I thought the D's were a bit inconsistent all year so I'm not sure we really did deserve to make the 8. Look after your friends that go for the D's because we bloody need a cuddle right now, I can tell you that. Anyway, I'll see you again soon. Cheers.